a TV show has sparked outrage in Iraq, after featuring fake ISIS fighters who kidnap celebrities, strap fake suicide vests to them, and tell them they will be executed. In the prank show Tanab Ruslan, terrified celebrities are taken to visit Iraqi families who they believe have been displaced after fleeing from extremists. But once there, the duped participants are ambushed by fake jihadists and told they will be killed until troops come to the rescue and bring their ordeal to an end. In one example, an Iraqi actress passed out with fear after being fitted with a fake suicide vest and was only brought round when the presenter poured water on her face. In another episode, a footballer was blindfolded and filmed begging for his life. What looks like a close shave is, in fact, a candid camera-style television show airing during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan that takes stricking celebrities for laughs to a new level. And it's causing a scandal in Iraq, along with accusations of bad taste. In each episode, a celebrity, invited for a charitable project, visits the home of a family said to have escaped the clutches of the ISIS. Once inside, actors disguised as jihadists pounce. The jihadists may be fake, but the pleas of the trapped celebrities are very real. In one show featuring Nesma, an actress in her 50s, she enters the home of a family she believes has been forced to flee from conflict before a fake explosion goes off, forcing everyone to run inside screaming. While she panics with a group of actors in on the prank, gunshots are heard, and one of the supposed producers on the show picks up a gun in view of Nesma. Carloads of gun-wielding and ISIS flag-waving jihadists then arrive and surround the home as gunshots appear to ricochet off the walls. They eventually storm the home and tie up Nesma and blindfold her while she cries and screams for help and starts to pray. The terrorists attach a suicide vest to her, prompting her to pass out on the floor with fear. She stays unconscious for several minutes until the presenter, in hashed uniform, empties a bottle of water on her face, before dragging her outside to continue the horrifying prank. Still blindfolded, she believes she is walking through gunfire, while her suicide vest is about to explode. At the last second, her vest and blindfold is removed, and she faints once again, needing water thrown at her face to rouse her as the cast and crew gathered around her applaud her and reveal the prank. When the Iraq international footballer al we appeared on the show, he found himself on the ground, blindfolded, begging for his life. I'm your brother, I'm Iraqi and I represent the whole nation, he shouts, on the verge of tears. But once the ruse is revealed, the celebrities can't complain too much. The series is underwritten by the powerful state sponsored Hashd al Shabi paramilitary coalition.
its fighters were central to a grinding military campaign that by mid-2017 had dislodged its from the string of cities it seized three years earlier. And these paramilitaries, still armed, have their own role in the show, saving the day. At the end of the episode featuring Marwi, the international footballer also had to suffer a professional put-down. You fly the Iraqi flag on the football pitch, but the hashed, the army and police, they do it by sacrificing martyrs, the presenter said. This isn't entertainment, Bainal al Masuli, a resident of Mosul, the self-proclaimed capital of Azin Iraq from 2014 to 2017, wrote on Twitter. Another Iraqi, Ahmed Abdurrade, expressed disbelief at the show on Facebook. Next year, well, have Saddam, he joked bitterly, referring to the dictator who terrorized Iraqis from 1979 to 2003, Saddam Hussein. Or we can throw guests into a river like the victims of Spiker, he wrote, referring to the 2014 Camp Spiker massacre, when is executed 1,700 Shiite conscripts, and dumped their bodies in the Tigris. For years, entrapping stars has become a staple of primetime Ramadan shows on Arab satellite channels. But this is the first time an Iraqi program has combined the formula with terrorism, which is still a real threat in Iraq. I don't see what pleasure you could get watching these people being tortured in this way, another viewer wrote on social media. The program also broadcasts mock executions and shootings with blanks, according to a disclaimer at the start. For others, however, the show salutes anti as fighters. But it's possible to show the bravery of the hashed and Iraqi troops without introducing terrorism, tweeted Noor Ghazi, an Iraqi living in the United States. Jihadist violence is still a fact of life in Iraq. The home of the so called displaced family in the show is located in the agricultural belt outside Baghdad, where a sleeper cell still intimidate and extort locals. According to social media user Hey and Oud Army, the show is giving free advertising to IS and other terrorist groups. and a writer of the show, Dargham Abu Rakif, has sprung to its defense. The scenes are harsh but If his had won, artists would have had a far harder life, and all Iraqis too, he wrote on Facebook.